please welcome Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I was gonna say it's actually six billion dollars is what the box office is. Uh, so, you know, you think about Brett Ratner, where everybody who knows Brett, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're showing so much love and support because we do love you. But you know, one of the one of the crazy things about Brett, for those of you who don't know Brett, is Brett is connected to everything. Like, there's no story in Hollywood, there's no big success in Hollywood that Brett is not connected to. So we shot Hercules together in Budapest. We were over there for months and months. We spent a lot of time together over there, and there was always, inevitably, every day, story time with Brett. Like Brett has, as you guys know, Brett has all these amazing stories. And finally one night I, I said, man, you know, you're actually Forrest Gump of Hollywood. Like you are connected to, it's like, Joanne Woodward, I believe, was the first one to get her, her star in the Walk of Fame in 1957. Somehow Brett Ratner is connected to that. Don't know how, but somehow he is, you know. Uh, as, as Brian was saying, you know, Brett, is he's a very special individual he's so warm he's got the biggest heart and he's the kind of guy you want on your side he's the kind of guy you want to be in business with he's the kind of business partner you want um and he's also the kind of guy who the interesting thing about brett is if he if he's not getting his way he has a very unique way of getting his way or if he gets into an argument he has a very unique way of getting somebody back so he's not the guy who's like oh, i'm gonna kick your ass and i'm gonna do that he's not that guy so for example uh we were rapping hercules or he may say that by the way but then he'll run away but uh we were rapping hercules and uh our producer bo flynn he asked our producer bo flynn said hey um uh, is there anything that, uh, that DJ wants? And, and so Bo came back and asked me, and I, and I jokingly, I said, yeah, there's a new Panerai watch. It's about $25,000, you have to go tell Brett I want that. So he goes to tell Brett that, and he comes back to me, and I said, what do you say? He said, Brett said, no problem, done. I said, wow, okay, so anyway, never thought anything of it. We rap, Brett has this beautiful presentation. It's the Panerai watch, I couldn't believe it. And he sends, he has this wonderful speech, one-on-one -on -one speech to me about what the movie meant to him. It was his last movie that he directed. We laughed, we cried, we hugged each other. I took the watch home. About six months later, I'm meeting with Bo Flynn again. He goes, wow, that's a beautiful watch. I said, yeah, this is the one that Brett gave me. He goes, that's the watch Brett gave you? I said, yeah. He starts laughing hysterically for five minutes. I said, what's going on? He goes, he gave MGM the bill. <laughs> Yes, he, he gave it to Jonathan Glickman because they got into some argument on set or whatever it is, but the, the point is I can't say enough good things about Brett Ratner. He's a brother, he's a friend, and I'm so proud of you. And it's just, it's so ironic because I was thinking about this on the way over is, is Brett, like Brian was saying, loves film. He loves movies. And to be here, to be celebrated in our community amongst all these legends and iconic names, for you to be here, it means the world to him, it means the world to me, it means the world to us. Love you, brother, and congratulations.